what's up you guys so her is on her way to go put on her tires as you can see i have my stuff in the back seat there hopefully it doesn't dirty up my chair but they are in bags anyways but let's hop right into this and go to the store and get our tires changed because it's winter time or it's going to be and yeah i need an oil change too so i'm gonna do both of that but i will see you guys when i get there like all of my gang even when we got some change we can't change remain humble yeah remain the same so guys i've made it to the tire store I can show you guys it is right there but um yeah i'm gonna go pull in my car to the back so let's go yes i don't have my seatbelt on but i'm not driving far guys so just driving to the back. There we go. And we are in. These are my winter tires that I'm going to be putting on. As you can see, they are on steelies. It just makes it easier to change your tires every year if you get these steelies. Just dropping some gems. If you don't have yourself some steelies, I would suggest go getting yourself some now, this season. So RIP to three of my summer tires. This guy is taking the summer tires that I'm not going to use anymore off of my steelies so that next year I can just put my new summer tires on the steelies when it's time to switch back to summers so now that the tires are off this is what it looks like you can see the rotors and here is an overview and this is what it looks like after the winter tires are back on r.i.p summer tires tis was swell now for the oil change so this is what they dump the old oil into before pouring new oil into your vehicle so after changing my tires, we realized that I have a piece that needed to change. So it's called like the ball joint. So yes, I had to fix my two front ball joints. You can see right there, that is the ball joint, that circle thing towards the bottom. So I had to replace that during this visit. So I am done now at the... Uh, mechanic shop it did take a good while because I found out one of my parts were no good I think it's called the ball joint on both sides in the front so I had to replace both because uh, it's a safety whatever so yeah I did that one thing I did realize though while I was in there I messed up my shoes let me show you boom my good 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 moccasins have fucking oil on them so uh, i'm gonna try to get that out funny thing is i thought i got uh like a spray the other day but it wasn't a spray it was a stain be gone <laughs> so i'm gonna try this on my shoe so yeah the instructions on this thing say to wipe access off stain then spray the stain and then blot and watch the stain disappear so that's what i'm gonna do now okay boom we got our shoe here don't mind that it's on my steering wheel i'm going to wipe off my steering wheel after uh first step i read to you guys was to blot off any access so we're going to dab to blot off any access oil we'll see if this actually works i've never used this before so Let's not be surprised if it doesn't. Um, and I have to find another way to get this out of my shoe. But we'll just dab until... I don't know if you guys could see that before. But that's what came off the first time. Not much excess is coming off anymore. But now that we've dabbed our extra oil off, we're going to grab our spray again as per its instructions it says spray stain fair enough 
this will probably stain. I don't know if oil stains, but I'm pretty sure it does. So I'm gonna try to beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. No one wants to beat it, beat it. Anyways, now that it is soaked and it looks hideous, let's just dab. It says to dab and watch or blot and watch the stain disappear. So watch and wait. I'm just gonna keep dabbing here. Okay, so I think that's it for this round. I may actually repeat all the steps one more time. So I already dabbed it, that was step one. Step two was to spray the stain. So I've sprayed the stain again. Note to self, don't wear moccasins to the mechanic shop. Wear something that is easy to wipe off. I mean, I go there often, but I actually have never messed up my shoes. But first for everything. It is looking a little bit better. And then, of course, the shoe still has to dry. So this is it right now. I'm actually going to leave it like this because I'm going to let it dry and do it again another day or another time, maybe later on today. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like now. Much better, but still going to need some work. But yeah, now I gotta clean up my steering wheel. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This wraps up day three of Vlogmas. Remember, if you guys like this video, to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.